Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from Mobox, and this is graphics tutorial number 16, and I'm gonna show you how to really quickly do a DNA strand in After Effects. It's really simple. I'm almost embarrassed to show you because it's so simple, and um, but but I, I think it's something that, that everyone should be able to at least realize that it's there. Um, it's kind of packed away in a different tool. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. Let's go ahead and open up After Effects here. And uh, again, super simple. We're gonna try to blow through this. Um, because you know we're all on tight time scales and you might be too so we're just gonna name this tutorial uh, this is actually tutorial 16 um, 60 frames a second 1080p 10 seconds composition that looks fine by the way let me know if you prefer the 1440p last week 30 frames per second or the 1080p 60 frames per second this week so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a ladder right so if you know anything about DNA you know it's kind of like a twisted ladder so you can make this as complicated or as simple as you'd like. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna create a long, um, I guess the top part of the ladder. I want this to be about 66. Why is this not? All right, well, we'll just do that. Um, so if you know anything about DNA, it's, it's, it's a ladder and it's got the strands. So what we, what we have here is we have the top part of the ladder. I'm just gonna align this um, center point of this object into the center. I'm going to then align this into the center of the composition by using the align box. Um, if you don't have it, you can go window align and it'll, it'll pop it up for you. I'm just going to duplicate this layer by hitting control D and I'm just going to open up the positions of these two objects. So I want them to be even and I want them to be in the center. And just so you know, when you use this tool, it has to be laying sideways this way. You can't have it up and down. You could flip it later, but just make it on its side for right now. So we have the X and the Y coordinates. I'm just gonna drag this down to maybe, um, I want it to go down maybe 100. Uh, let's see, maybe another 100, so 200. And then we'll do this one plus 200. So now we have a ladder. So basically when these say 540, so it's 960 by 540, if I, after the 540, I put plus 200, it'll just add 200. And then I could do minus 200 and it did the same thing there. So now that we have this ladder formed, we can now create the uh, center ladder strands. What I'm actually just gonna do is I'm actually just gonna take one of these and I'm gonna hit Control D and then I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard and rotate it 90 degrees. I'm just going to scale it down in the uh, vertical direction just so it's not too extreme and I'm just gonna center it up into the center of the composition. Now, once I have this, I can hit control D. So I'm going to make maybe 10, 10 lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So basically just hit control D 10 times. I'm going to select all of them and hit P on the keyboard. And I'm just going to see, so I want them to go in the X direction um, and maybe a hundred in each direction probably looks good. So I'm just going to come in here and hit plus 100. And then I'm going to do plus 200 and then plus 300. Uh, maybe these are a little too close. Let's actually add, an, add another. Let's do, so it'll be 960 plus 150. We'll do, we'll do 150 each. So this will be 960 plus 300. This will be 960 plus 450. And this one will be 960 plus 5, 600. So now we're just gonna do the same on the other side. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And on this side, we're gonna do 960 minus 150, 960 minus 300, 960 minus 450, I think I'm on. And then 960 minus 600. Um, so they don't quite go all the way to the end, but that's fine, this looks fine. Um, an alternative way to do this is to, oh, by the way, I'm just selecting this, hitting you on the keyboard, so just to close them all out. Um, you could do these all under one shape layer and then add the effect to it, but I like to I like to do it like this and then just pre-compose these. So select them all, hit Control Shift C and hit OK. So now we have this pre-composed layer and I'm gonna search for a built-in function called CC ball action. If you're familiar with a previous tutorial I did, it was about how to do a space background. It's the same tool, it's just used slightly different. So once I drop it on, you can see it created little balls out of this entire um, 
DNA strand or ladder. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to the, to the effects control panel and reduce the grid size to zero. So it makes it almost indistinguishable. And then I'm gonna increase the twist angle. Now why this is here, it's kind of hard to tell, but all I know is that it allows you to easily twist up a DNA strand. Up here you have rotation, so you could rotate it. So basically you could just set a keyframe in the beginning, set a keyframe at the end, and make this bad boy spin. So now we have it spinning. So what I like to do is I like to kind of, this looks a little too rigid for me. This might be the look that you're looking for, but for me, I prefer to have kind of a little bit more organic look. I'm just gonna search for a tool called Rough and, Ed rough and Edges. Um, so let's see here, Rough and Edges. I'm just gonna drop it on, and you can see that it kind of just, it makes it a little less rough. It kind of cuts these corners, um, it just kind of makes everything look a little more organic. You could affects, you could change some of these effects here. I actually kind of like the way this looks. Um, and so yeah, that's the really, really simple way to do a DNA strand in After Effects. Now, if that's all you wanted to see, if you just wanted to see how to do the DNA strand, we're gonna end the tutorial here for you. Um, I hope you learned something and I hope this helped. Um, but to get the effect that we had in the, in the introductory, um, I guess little showcase, you know, because it had different colors and it was slightly different. Um, I'm just going to show you how I did that. It's really simple. I'm just going to double click this pre -comp composition and I'm back here. So I'm just going to select all of these and I'm just going to make these thinner. And it appears that we actually have an extra one here. I'm just going to delete that and delete that. It appears we had some extra ones in there. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create some more rectangles. So that looks about, about right. I'm just gonna put the center point in the center of it. And I'm just gonna line it up into the center there. I'm just gonna duplicate that and bring it down until it looks about even. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's just kind of up to you. If you want, you could open up the positions here and you can make them perfect. Um, just gonna put the center points at the other ends of the objects. By the way, this motion tool, this is an extra script that I have installed. Um, it's from a guy called Mount MoGraph. So let's see, maybe 550 and then 540 minus 10 is 530. So now they're kind of more evenly spaced and I could change the colors. So I might wanna make this one Sorry, you can't see that, it's on my other monitor. Maybe a red, maybe this one a, well, let's see, we'll, we'll pick the same color there and then we'll bring this down to maybe a yellow. I can control D and bring these over until they look about right. And again, I could, I could actually change the position um, for the sake of this example, no one would probably ever know the difference if I just, drug them over and kind of got them about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually going to just change the colors on all of these, um, but we just kind of set up a good base frame. And because this is in the pre-composition, um, all of the effects I did um, previously, like rough and edges and the CC ball action to get it to get the spin, those will all actually just simply fall into place once I go back over there. So I'm just gonna start changing these colors. Um, I like to pick maybe like three or four colors um, and then kind of do variations on them. So maybe I have, uh, that one's blue and then just kind of do combinations of, of all the different colors. <clears throat> uh, again, this is again, very so simple. Um, it's, it's it's so simple, I was almost like not wanting to do the tutorial, but I feel like it has such a cool look to it that it's like, how could you not do it, I guess? Um, I don't know, I, I, it's it's such a cool effect and, and it looks really cool and it really adds a lot of really freaking high quality effects to a video that um, maybe you're not really an expert in After Effects, maybe you're just starting out, um, but man, it, it, it really, it seriously makes it look freaking awesome awesome so we're almost done here the last set I don't need to change um, 
actually what I'm going to do is I kind of like that that combination. I haven't seen that combination yet, so I'm just going to change this to blue. So again, there's tons of layers here and it looks kind of complicated, but all you when you back up to this, boom, there it is and it's done. Um any, anyways, you could do this however you'd like. Um again, you can mess with the with the rough and edges. You can increase some of these effects. Um, a lot of different things you could do there, um, but this is what I like to do. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something new, and I hope this tutorial helped you out. Um, if you do want to see this in action, you can check out my main channel. It's called uh, Mike Rodolfi. Uh, you'll see some videos uh, down below, or you could you know, maybe check out the description. I think it might be in there as well. Um, a video called What is Fallout? I, sh I use this technique in there. Um, and I think it came out really cool. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, please leave this video a like. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see. And I'll be back next Wednesday for a brand new video tutorial. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.